Hey guys, Brandon here, Mitten Made Properties. We have your May 2021 Genesee County real estate market update. We're gonna jump in and jump out, get you in and out as fast as we possibly can. Uh, we have the month in arrears that we have all the data is hot off the press, ready to go for you. We have three years of data because one year wouldn't make any sense. So we wanna see the trend. The trend is your friend. We wanna see these patterns. So uh, days on market, let's jump right into this first one here. Days on market, 50, two years ago, 53 last year, and then 19 this year. Do you think it's a seller's market? My goodness. Uh, active number of homes. This is a one day data sample. So the day the data was taken, how many homes were on the market at that time? 802 two years ago, 656 last year, and 359 this year. Truly, truly remarkable what's going on. Just no homes on the market. Uh, months of inventory. This is at the rate homes are selling. How long would it take every last home to sell if no new homes came on the market? Or you might hear absorption rate. 1.56 two years ago, over three and a half last year, and then 0.75. 0.75, three weeks of inventory. That's it. So if no new homes came in the market, three weeks, homes will be sold at the rate homes are selling. Just to give you context, one to three months is a seller's market, four to six is a balanced market, and seven plus is a buyer's market, meaning there's a lot of inventory and prices have come down. This, this next one is new. Number of new homes that came on across the entire month, 772 years ago, 665 last year, and 631 this year. So we're seeing a little bit of a, a step up this year, fortunately, uh, you know, a little back toward the norm. So hopefully that's a sign of good things to come. So we shall see. Price per square foot, 101 two years ago, 93 last year, and 124 this year. This is, if you take your square footage and multiply it by this, it'll give you the valuation of your home approximately. Remember, this is a countywide number though. So if you want actual evaluation, you gotta have someone on our team or an appraiser, someone, a professional to come over and actually give you a valuation on your home. Because remember, that's a countywide number. But if you take your square footage and multiply that out though, it gives you that value. But remember, the trend is more important here as to what we wanna see. Uh, sold, this is the number of people actually, number of deeds actually changing hands each month. 513 two years ago, only 173 last year. Again, remember, this was in the depths of the uh, the lockdown and everything, 173, and then 478 this year. So uh, again, things are looking a little bit up, but still down overall, and just incredible, incredible uh, shortening of the market and timelines and, and low inventory. So that's your Genesee County May 21 real estate market update. We appreciate you guys more than anything. If you're on the podcast, go to at Legacy Group MI on the Facebook or YouTube channel, comment there and we will answer them as soon as possible. We appreciate your time and energy. It's the most important thing we have, and we'll see you guys on the next one.